We thank you tonight for the glorious things you have done. We were here to do in our life. We thank you for bringing us here together. Yes, we thank you for this blessed week. You took us through it. No matter what had happened, you made us, came out victorious. You have favored Amen. us. And today we can't thank you enough. Amen. But we still have to say thank you. We appreciate Amen. you, God. Amen. Have your way in us. As you have come here, God, we all have our requests. We all have our desires. We all have our problems, our go-throughs. But we say, God, have your way tonight. Speak to us. Amen. And let your will be done. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. That much I do. Let's take our Bibles and open to Jeremiah 32, 27. I want to talk to you very briefly in Jeremiah 32, 27. God bless you. Jeremiah 32, 27. If you are there reading for us, God bless you. Yes, please. It says, mm -hmm. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. 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 Mama, your voice was down a little bit. Please read a bit a bit louder for us. God bless you. Sorry. Okay, Jeremiah 32, 27. Uh -huh. It reads, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. Amen. It says, behold, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all, not some flesh, all flesh. Is there anything that is too hard for me? Hallelujah. Amen. Who is your God? Who is in charge of you? Who is in charge of your life? Jesus. Who is God over your flesh? Jesus. So what problem or what trouble are you facing? Mm. He said, is there anything at all that is too hard for him? No. Sometimes we read the scripture, we say this stuff, but we don't believe in it. Because things that we are going through seems not to end. And seems to overly overcome us. So automatically we have nothing to stand on. We lose our faith. We lose our belief in the Lord. And that is causing us problems. He said, behold, is there anything at all that is too hard for him? What are you facing that is too hard for this God? We are serving a God of possibility. And there is nothing difficult for this man. There is nothing difficult for this our God. There is nothing difficult for the omnipotent. There is nothing difficult for the Jehovah Jireh. There is nothing difficult for the omnipresent God. There is nothing that is difficult for the omniscient God. Nothing at all. A day na wu koma wu ye ye abro wu ntia seno wa adu yesu adu wu koma wu ni yaliemu. Ana wu refu nyami abo abo awa na. Have you forgotten the God that cares for you? The God that takes care of you? The God that provides for you? So why are you giving up in life? Why are you giving up in life? 
Why are you giving up in prayer? Why are you giving up in your faith? Why are you giving up in your belief? Child of God, let me tell you, we are in the times and days where you don't need somebody to even come and tell you to keep on believing. Amen. Amen. You don't need no one to come and tell you to keep on praying, to keep on having faith, to keep on holding on to the hopes for tomorrow. Amen. Yesterday is history. Today is a gift. That's why we call it present. And tomorrow is mystery. Glory, somebody. The Lord has given you this day as a gift. Dwell in this day. Make the best out of this day. And forget about your yesterday. Forget about your tomorrow because your tomorrow is mystery. And if you do today well, the performance of your today will determine your tomorrow, your stand. Glory to God. And I pray that you shall be remarkable. Amen. Thank you, God. I don't know what you are going through. But I want you to know that, look, with God, all things are possible. I said, with who? I didn't say with your father, with your mother, with your sister. But with God, all things are what? Are possible. Glory to God. Today, as you come to, 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 to reunite with the Lord with this kind of hope and believe, I pray that, look, the things that are impossible to you, it's about time where they turn to be possible. You can do the undoable. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you are doing it on your own. You've been fighting on your own. You've been trying to establish on your own. It's not happening. Because you know what? You are taking somebody out of the equation. And if you are taking this person out of the equation, you cannot fulfill. It cannot be fulfilled. Remember, it's not happening. It's not becoming possible for you because there is somebody that is out of the equation. You have taken God out. Bible said, with God. Now, all things becomes possible. Amen. So if you are doing something without him, know that it's not going to be possible for you. Amen. It's not a curse, but it's the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're with him, then no matter the barriers, you're going to break through them barriers. Glory to God. I'm talking about the God that operates spiritually. And this God is still in the spiritual miracle business. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, the Lord is still in the miracle business. And say, my miracle awaits me. Oh, well, prophesy, declare to yourself, I am a miracle. This week, I shall encounter miracle, greater miracle. This week, my children shall come and encounter great miracle. My children, my children shall encounter great miracle. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, with that being said, child of God, do not underestimate the capabilities of our God. <laughs> because every time you underestimate the capabilities of our God, you put a limit on him. Man. He says, with him, all Things are possible. So why would you limit me? Amen? Amen? Don't put a limit on God. On what he can do and what he cannot do. What time he should do what and what time he is not to do what. He knows the times. He carried a timetable. I pray that look. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The time when you are giving up is the time he comes through. Because when your brains, you've cracked your brains to the max and your brains are stuck or seems not to be working, that's when his begins. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking about the God who performs miracle. That God can do exceedingly and abundantly for your situation. No matter the situation you are going through, as soon as, as long as you come in contact with him, as long as you let him in the situation, as long as you invite him in the situation, let him be the lead, child of God. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, abundant and exceedingly in miracles shall be your portion in the situation. I receive it in the name of Jesus. All you need to do is to have faith and trust in him. Today is the last Sunday of the week. Have faith. Amen. Keep the faith. No matter what, don't lose faith. Amen. Trust in him. Amen. Believe in him. Amen. Keep the faith. Amen. Keep the faith. Amen. Keep the faith. Amen. Keep the faith. Amen. And he will come through for you. Amen. 
He has a miracle for you. The miracle awaits you. But the fuel that will keep you going to where the miracle is, is the faith. The fuel that will keep you going to him, to, to the miracle, is the faith. And the oil that will continue to run the engine for you to get to that miracle is the trust. Amen. Because you trust in that thing, you will not let that thing go. What you trust in, you put your energy in. What you trust in, you are all about it. Amen. Because you trust Amen. that something great is coming out of it. Because people trust in investment, in stocks, they buy stocks. They put all their, 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 their resources there. Because they trust in it. Everything, everything. But tonight, I don't know, but look, I'm here to encourage you to trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. He says, when we walk with the Lord, in the light of his word, what a glory shall on our way. Or sing with me, somebody. What we do is good. He abides with us. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. And with our hand. I'll sing with me, trust and obey. Oh, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to be happy in Jesus, Hallelujah. trust and obey. Obey to his word. Obey to his deeds. And trust him with the wheels. If you can trust the bus driver with the wheels, you can trust God. All the time. Because that bus driver you are trusting with the wheels is praying to the same God that you refuse to trust in. His career is God. He prays before he gets in that bus. And you don't want to trust in this God he prays in, but you want to trust in the driver that believes in that God. Amen. If you want to be happy, Amen. trust and obey. Amen. Because whenever you trust God, you know, look, it might not be how I want it, but eventually it's going to come out okay. It's going to come out perfect. So you, you have the joy. It's okay. It's the will of God. Whatever has happened, I'm okay. It's great. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. Amen. Take the wheel. I trust in you. Amen. You trust that man to come in that house and fix your, uh, what do you call it, your stove. Your gas cooker. He can make, he's a man, he can make a mistake and it could be a fire. You can trust somebody to do that for you. You can trust somebody to build a house with, with wood, plywood, and you trust a person to go to sleep in that building. But you've forgotten the one that gave that person such an to build. Hallelujah. There was a creator before they became a creator. <laughs> the creator made the creator. And, uh, the builder, the constru constru contractor or whatever, the engineer. There was a creator before that engineer. Even the mother, the mother, the mother, great grandmother didn't come to see the creator. But you trust this new creator to create, invent a car. And you trust him to sit in the car to take you there safely. Toyota. Toyota. But you don't want to trust in the God that first created. He first created. So out of him, the word creation came. Tonight, child of God, I hope you encourage here to continue to trust in this God. 
Amen. and obey this God. Amen. If you can trust in the GPS to tell you, turn left, turn right, go straight, make a U-turn. And sometimes it gets somewhere it says, you have reached your destination and it's all woods, trees. Amen. And you still go ahead and say, oh, let me punch the address. I probably didn't punch it right. You punch the address again and you re say, oh, recalculate, make a U-turn. And you still trust in that GPS. But you can't trust the God, the first creator of who you are before you can even trust someone, somebody created you. And the person that created you, trust in you. And he said, I have given you this. Now trust and obey me and you shall do well in life. The people said, this is a land cruiser. Oh, trust in it. It can take you anywhere. Anywhere in the bush, it will take you. Trust. You believe in it. And you sit in there thinking you are in heaven. Kaish. And you are gone to wherever you need to be. And you get there safely. So tell me. Amen. Is that more powerful than the first creator? No. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, all you need to do is to have faith Amen. and trust in him. Amen. People that don't have faith, people that don't believe, they don't do when the word comes out. They don't. They will listen. They will be there just for you to know they are there, but they never participate. Because they themselves, they've given up in life. May you not give up. Amen. May you never give up. Please, if you have given up in life, marriage, whatever it is, build back that enthusiasm, that momentum, that joy, that love. Because I say a miracle awaits you. Because God is still in the miracle business. Hallelujah. There is nothing impossible for God. There is nothing impossible for God. And he's more than able. He's more than able. He's able. More than able. You know that song, right? To do much more that what? To do much more that concerns me, right? He's a great God. Hallelujah. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. You see the able songs are many, right? He's able. I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Amen. God bless you. So there is nothing impossible for our God. That's why the songwriter said, My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Mountain. Keep me in the valley. And hide me from, hide me from the rain. Hallelujah. May the Lord Amen. move your mountains from your face. Move the mountain in your marriage. The mountain on your pathway to your destiny. May this God keep you in the valley. And may the Lord hide you from the rain. In Jesus name. We are going to pray. God has power over every situation. He has power over every situation of life. Lord. In this regard, we are going to command. The Bible says he's giving us power over all power. We're going to command any dead situation in your life to be resurrected. Tonight, I should lift up your voice and pray. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, begin to lift up your voice and pray. Any dead situation, any dead situation, any dead situation, any dead situation. Walk 
Look, we are going to reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise our life. We are going to reverse it now. Lift up your voice and begin to reverse. Reverse every mandate. Mandate to be them. They've given to any evil power to supervise your life. Today, in the name of let it be a reversal. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's the God of possibility. 
We reverse, my God, every mandate, any mandate. Give it to any evil power over our life, over our family, over our marriage, over our business, over our finances, our destiny. We reverse that mandate now by the power in the name of Jesus. Vampire. Yes, Lord. The Lord is still in the spiritual miracle business. He's still in the miracle business. He's the God that operates in the spiritual. Ah. Jesus. Ah. Let us be a reverser, a reverser. Now we just need to be restricted. Dan, please, you know, like you for what you have done. We thank you for feeding our soul, reviving our spirit, and empowering our beach. We thank you, God, for the restitution of mind through your word. We pray today, God, that we shall do the impossible because of you. The Bible says, with you, all things are possible. Anything we are doing that will give you glory, may we never be stopped. May we never be unstoppable. We are unstoppable, I declare, in the name of Jesus. Every mandate given to any evil power to control, to supervise, to destroy our lives. We command, O oh God, an instant reversal. Back to sender in the name of right Jesus now, Christ of Nazareth. Every evil deposit against our life, against the ministry, against our loved ones, our family. Tonight, the Lord rebukes you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray any hidden arrow of wickedness. To come out now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every hidden arrow of wickedness against your family, against you, your loved ones, the ministry. Hey, let it come out by fire. And we reverse it back to sender in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the earth, I declare, yes, the earth vomit out every wickedness against us. Every wickedness in the earth against us. Let the earth vomit it out now. Let the earth vomit it out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, oh God, I stand as your servant and I break by your word. I break every evil pot. I'll break every witchcraft pot now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'll break, oh God, and let the orchestration return back to sender now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that port hand their owners, oh God. Let the port hand their orchestrators, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 
every wicked pot that is cooking the affairs of our life, that is cooking our affairs, that is cooking something negative about us in the ministry and our loved ones and family. Today, oh God, that pot will break and scatter it by tender in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ali Katosa Madasa. Today I disentangle you. I disentangle your loved ones. I disentangle the ministry. I disentangle your family from every witchcraft cage, from every witchcraft pot. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Any oppression of witchcraft barrier in our life. I command it to be reversed now. Right now, reverse. Every witchcraft barrier against our finances, against our marriage, against the ministry, against the community, against the nation. I command of God now be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey, come out of Nazareth. Back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus. And today I pray for you on this last Sunday of the month. Look, any blessing and all blessings of yours that has been imprisoned by the grave are commanded to come forth in the name of the Bible. Say he has the power and there is the power of resurrection. I declare by the power of resurrection and I command anything, any blessing of yours that has been buried to come to life in the name of Jesus. Come to life in the name of Jesus. Any blessing that has been imprisoned in any cage, I command that cage to break loose now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release and I redraw your blessing from the hand of the dead. I release and I redraw your blessings from every grave. In the name of Jesus, from the camp of the enemy, from their warehouse, I release now. In the name of Jesus, you shall come across your blessing as a miracle. Ha! You shall come across your blessing. Ha! In the name of you shall not be delayed in life. I declare by the power of the name of Jesus. Now look, you are moving forward from A to B and to C. You shall never go backwards. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk with faith. And I should believe and obey in the word of God. You shall reach your destination in peace. And the Lord shall strengthen you. As I speak now, be strengthened. As I speak now, be strengthened. Somebody, as I shall speak now, be strengthened. As I shall speak now, be empowered. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray the traveling route of your household witches, the wickedness, uh, that traveling route will become very slippery. It will become very slippery. It will become their burning place because the fire of God, like the Bible said, the prophet called, Elijah called the fire. Today, I call the fire of God into the, into, into, into the, into the travel route of your household witches. Uh, I call the fire of God into the travel route of your household witches. Uh, hey, may they be burned into ashes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any witch around your progress, any witch around your marriage, any witch on your job, your finances, any witch after your life, hey, any witch after the life of your children today, let the fire burn them into ashes. Bible says, look, so far not a wish to live. May they die and be burned now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of we dispatch the angel of distractions to the camp of your enemies. May the angel of distractions go into the camp of your enemies and minister distraction to them. In the name of Jesus, anywhere they begin, they begin meeting. Let the meeting begin in distraction, confusion, and end in distraction and confusion. And tonight, may the tender of God be released in their homes, in their traveling route, in Jesus' name, to block them from locating you. I pray, look, I soak you in the blood of the lamp of God. I soak you in the blood of the lamp of God. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. The blood deliver you. The blood empower you. The blood, I pray, that will renew, revive you. May the blood protect you. May the blood be a hedge in the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. Today, anything causing you pain, Kabata, anything that causes you pain, anything that gives you sleepless nights, anything.
18 from the devil, anything from the negative world, from the world of darkness that is causing you pain. Today, I pray it out of your life. Today, I pray it out of our homes. Today, I pray it out of the house of the loved ones. Today, I pray it out of your being. Today, I pray it out of your ministry. Today, I pray it out of your job. Hey, out of your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I declare no more pain. Oh. I speak light into the situation in your family. I speak life into the dead duck situation in your marriage, on your job, in your finances, on your family, in the life of your loved ones, in the ministry. I speak light. Let the light of the Lord appear. Let the light of the Lord shine. Let the light of the Lord expose. In Jesus' mighty say light. Somebody, let me hear you say light. Let me hear you shout light. I pray that from today, as a ministry, as individuals, as family, as marriage, we are moving forward. And we shall gather all that we have lost in the name of Jesus. We are moving forward. And we shall gather all that we have lost in the name of Jesus. That which you have lost ah, through battles, that which you have lost through selfishness, that which you have lost because you didn't know. Ah, today you shall gather it all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, You know what? There is a somebody that is going through something. Thank you, Lord. And I'm hearing to pray for strength for you. Amen. I pray for strength. Amen. I pray for the Lord to strengthen you. Once you are going through your go-throughs. Whatever you are going through that is weakening you or that you need strength to go through. I pray. The strength of the Lord locates you. I pray the strength of the Lord be your portion. I pray, yes, let the strength of the Lord fill you. Bible said that in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. Ah, may his strength perfect that which is weak in your life. May the Lord perfect that which is weak in your spirit. May the Lord perfect that which is weak in your mind. May the Lord perfect that which is weak in your body. May the Lord perfect that which is weak in your marriage, in your family. Ah, let me hear you say strength, strength, receive it. Hallelujah. Look, I prophesy. I receive it. You shall surely overcome. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I said, I prophesy that you, Amen. listening to me, watching me, shall surely overcome. No matter how hard or tough the situation is. You shall surely overcome. Oh, say, I am overcomer. Glory to God. Now look. God bless you. Wonderful. Now declare after me. Say, look. I am I, 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 I take a step forward. Or I am taking a step forward. Out of my situation. Into favor, into glory, into blessings, into big deals, big deals. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! If you believe the Lord has done a miracle for you, just begin to thank the Lord, begin to give Him the glory, begin to thank Him. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Ah, we thank you for what you have done, we thank you for what you are living. We thank you for what you have said, and thank you, God, for your word. Ah, 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 ah. We thank you for renewing us. We thank you for making us new. We thank you for reviving us. We thank you for empowering us. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We thank you. Ah. What should I even do to glorify you, Lord? Ah, I want to remain us. Me never see. 
<laughs> he said, I will tell the people the greatest, how great our God is. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 